Hello everyone and welcome to The Daily Hope. My name is Jim Doyle and I am so excited to just share this verse with you that has just a few words in it, but it's packed full of meaning. It's Revelation 21.1. Now I saw a new heaven and new earth for the first heaven and earth passed away and there is no more sea. Let me ask you, have you ever owned a vehicle that completely broke down on you or you got in an accident and the car or vehicle was totaled? And so it was time to get a completely new vehicle. Uh, yes, you were probably had a difficult experience with the old vehicle or sad to let go or whatever, but probably enjoyed getting a brand new vehicle with all new working parts. And boy, that, that new car smell, isn't that the best? Well, Revelation 21 tells us that, that followers of Jesus will experience a brand new heavens and earth with new parts and new smells. So let's pull back the curtain just a little bit on, on this. First of all, the Apostle John sees a brand new vision. He's not seeing a renovation of the skies and stars and planets or even the earth. Because our world has been marred and damaged by sin, God will completely destroy it in creating something completely and refreshingly new. You see, the Bible is a record of God's wonderful plan of man's redemption and the, and the amazing grace that caused God to send his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross to pay the price for our sin will be, be brought to its final conclusion when God makes a new heavens and, new, and a new earth. The old heaven and earth will pass away. Actually, it will be completely destroyed. This shows the surpassing riches of of his grace and his kindness toward you and me and all of those who, who have turned their life over to Jesus Christ for salvation. Now back to Revelation 21 and 22. These chapters give us a flavor of this newness that will come upon the eternal state. But it's so beyond our imaginations that John cannot even write too much about the uniqueness of God's new creation. Maybe because there was really no vocabulary to describe it, except in the form of brilliant colors, which I recommend reading about it in Revelations 21 and 22. And while, and while there will be a wonderful river of life running through this brand new Jerusalem, this holy city come down from heaven, the Lord's current dwelling place, there will, will be no more sea, which often refers to the chaotic, sinful mass of humanity. So at this point, I encourage you to read all of Revelation 21 and 22 to capture two things. First, to realize what is not going to be in the eternal state right after the Lord creates a new heavens and new earth. And second, what is, what is new that we don't have now? And the best part about this newness is our Lord Jesus Christ will be with us forever and ever. Amen? Well, go in God's grace with great hope in your hearts and looking forward to this wonderful anticipation of the new heavens and new earth where we'll be in the presence of the Lord forever. God bless you.